And rain and storms also make it difficult to hold outdoor events. A lot of high school athletes are finding their events canceled due to the soggy weather. Meteorologist Jamie Travers in the Woods Basement System Storm Runner with more on that. Hi, Jamie. Yeah, well, Glenn, the Cardinals game was called off by late morning due to the rain. And here at Parkway Central, there'd be a lot more activity around if the conditions were better. Mike Roth, the director of athletics and activities for Parkway School District, says they deal with the rain all the time. And it is what it is. Today in Parkway alone, he has 37 different events and 19 of those have been canceled. Most of their golf, tennis and baseball. They'll still have activities inside like water polo and boys volleyball in the gym. They do move some practices inside, but gym space is limited. But they have indoor batting cages for the baseball team and a weight room. So many of the athletes can at least do some lifting and conditioning. But of course, the day to day activities and games depend on the weather and they just do the best they can. Well, it is St. Louis, and as you know, one day it might be 30 or 40 degrees, the next day it's 70. So as a high school athletic director, we just deal with the rain. We make do. We want to provide as many opportunities as we can. And if we get rained out, we reschedule. Uh, the issue with that is, you know, we have a little bit of shortage with officials. So just because my opponent is ready to play today doesn't mean I can get officials or, quite honestly, doesn't mean I can get a bus to get them to the, to the game. And there has been a soccer game going on this afternoon. It's on the turf field, so Roth said they would go ahead and play that in conditions like this light rain and drizzle. However, the games on the grass fields were canceled. And as long as there isn't lightning, of course, if there's heavy rain and lightning, then that's a completely different story. Reporting live in Chesterfield, meteorologist Jamie Travers, Fox 2 News.